Tarka is a medication used to treat high blood pressure. It helps prevent strokes, heart attacks, and kidney problems. Tarka contains two medications, trandolapril and verapamil. Trandolapril is an ACE inhibitor, while verapamil is a calcium channel blocker. Both of these medications work by relaxing blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more easily. Verapamil may also lower your heart rate. The recommended daily dosage of Tarka can vary depending on your specific condition, so it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. It's best to take Tarka at the same time each day, and you can take it with or without food. Be sure to talk to your doctor about the best timing for you. Before starting Tarka, make sure to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with food as directed by your doctor, usually once or twice daily. Swallow the tablets whole and do not crush or chew them. The dosage will depend on your medical condition and response to treatment. It's important to take this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. Even if you feel well, keep taking Tarka as prescribed. Do not stop taking it without consulting your doctor, as some conditions may become worse if the drug is suddenly stopped. It may take several weeks before you feel the full benefit of Tarka, so be patient with the treatment. Make sure to inform your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it gets worse, such as if your blood pressure readings remain high or increase. As your body adjusts to Tarka, you may experience dizziness, lightheadedness, or tiredness. You might also notice a dry cough, constipation, or nausea. If any of these effects persist or worsen, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. To reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, make sure to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, if you notice any serious side effects such as fainting, new or worsening symptoms of heart failure, signs of a high potassium blood level, or signs of kidney problems, be sure to contact your doctor right away. Additionally, this drug may rarely cause serious liver disease. Seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as nausea or vomiting that persists, loss of appetite, stomach or abdominal pain, yellowing of the eyes or skin, or dark urine. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you experience any other effects not listed, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it is important to avoid using Tarka as it can cause serious harm to an unborn baby. It is crucial to discuss the use of reliable forms of birth control with your doctor while taking this medication. If you become pregnant or think you may be pregnant while taking Tarka, be sure to inform your doctor immediately. Before taking Tarka, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to trandolapril, verapamil, or other ACE inhibitors. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss any allergies with your pharmacist. It's also important to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist before using Tarka, especially if you have certain types of heart rhythm problems, heart issues, muscle-slash-nerve disorders, a history of allergic reactions, blood filtering procedures, liver disease, kidney disease, or high levels of potassium in your blood. Tarka may cause dizziness, and using alcohol or marijuana can increase this effect. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you know how Tarka affects you. It's also important to stay hydrated and talk to your doctor about using potassium supplements or salt substitutes. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of Tarka, so it's important to be aware of potential side effects such as dizziness, increased potassium levels, constipation, swelling in the ankles feet, or changes in urine production. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss the risks and benefits of Tarka with your doctor.
Additionally, if you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using Tarka. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with Tarka, as they can change how the medication works or increase the risk for serious side effects. Some products that may interact with Tarka include aliscarin, clonidine, disopyramide, and certain drugs that weaken the immune system or increase the risk of infection. It's also important to note that other medications can affect the removal of verapamil from your body, which may impact how Tarka works. Additionally, some products have ingredients that could raise your heart rate or blood pressure, so it's important to discuss all the products you are using with your pharmacist. If you are getting injections for B-slash-wasp sting allergy, desensitization, make sure all your doctors know that you are taking Tarka. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. And remember to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. If you or someone you know has taken too much Tarka and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's crucial to seek immediate medical help. In the US, you can call the Poison Control Center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can reach out to your provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include severe dizziness, fainting, and a very slow heartbeat. So, it's important to take Tarka exactly as prescribed by your healthcare provider to avoid any potential overdose. When taking Tarka, it's important to remember not to share this medication with others. In addition to taking this medication, making lifestyle changes such as exercising, quitting smoking, and following a low cholesterol low fat diet can help it work better. It's important to consult your doctor for more details on how to make these changes. While taking Tarka, it's important to have lab and or medical tests done to monitor kidney function, potassium levels, and liver function. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. Regularly checking your blood pressure and pulse, heart rate, while taking Tarka is also important. Learning how to check your own blood pressure and pulse at home is important, and it's important to share the results with your doctor. If you forget to take a dose of Tarka, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to take Tarka regularly to get the full benefits. It's typically taken once or twice a day, and the best time to take it is usually in the morning. Make sure to follow your doctor's instructions on the exact dosage and timing for your specific condition. It is important to store Tarka at room temperature, away from light and moisture, and not in the bathroom. It should be kept out of reach of children and pets. When it is expired or no longer needed, it should be properly discarded, and it is important to consult a pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal instructions. Remember not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.